Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today I've got a very unique product that uh, when I was asked to review this thing, I was like, ah, another one, and I started looking at it, and I was like, this is totally different. I'm down with sharing this, and so after a week of daily testing, a week and a half of daily testing, I do. I like it a lot. This is... Bob and Brad Q2 Mini Massage Gun. These are two chiropractors. Um, do believe they have a YouTube channel and stuff like that. So, uh, quite natural. We're unifying and doing something uh, to spread the word out about massage guns because I love them. And a lot of times they're big and bulky. You don't want to have to carry them around. This solves the problem. And it also sol solves the problem of charging them as well. So, Two things I really love, so I was on board immediately with just those two things on checking out this product. Let's take a look at it. So here's the packaging, it's really nice. They did a good job designing this from uh, the ground up, I'm assuming, because I don't see many, I don't see anything like this. So I think they hopefully designed this out. But uh, here's the case. It is a very good sticky textured uh, carbon fiber looking case got a little uh, hook here for your wrist strap we'll say that is what that is and the interiors looks good man look at that let me move this I, I left that in there for some reason but there's a massage gun itself it's tiny and beam like and then you get all your attachments here that you're going to use that's the most popular ones you get a storage area up top which still has the manual in here and the charging cable which we'll get to which is fantastic and then like i said it's small and grippy so those are these are win-wins right off the bat right you even get some replacement little o-rings there the little gaskets uh for these little things i've gone over this many times before in the past with the other ones there's a standard of things that go on and then there's the differences that divide them all up and make them different now we're just going to start, start talking about the differences that makes this different from all other uh, massage guns and that is the size look at this thing it's almost it's just a little couple inches taller than the the width of of my hand here the height of my hand just a couple inches taller and this is the exhaust ports up here branding everywhere i was amazed at how much branding is going on on this thing so it's printed everywhere i thought okay it's just going to be a sticker on the side of the box, and then it's just going to be some kind of generic gun that you can get from China. But it looks like there's it's branded throughout, which is really cool. And one of the cool things that you'll notice on the bottom, what is that? That is a Type-C port on the bottom. I've preached it a million times. Please make this easier to carry things. Look, I've got a, a sample gun, which is one of my favorite guns over here, full-size ones. This is a charging brick that you have to, you have to carry this is the case difference that you have to carry this is a smaller one too this is a smaller one and look at that totally night and day this is not pocketable this is pocketable you know in a way uh, especially if you're just carrying one attachment with you uh, but this is kind of purse pocketable it's like you could get this into a bigger purse uh, no problem uh, roll this thing out people might go what in the world is that but you know what it is and that's all that matters and here is the one that you're going to use probably the most is this little ball here uh, the cool part too back here on the buttons you long press to turn this on there's a battery reader down here that'll tell you what color uh, where you're at on battery and then you got different power settings through here but this section here is recessed because I wondered like okay if I'm palming this and I'm putting pressure down. Am I gonna keep turning this thing off and back on again? Is it gonna be one of those things? But I haven't had that happen the first time just because this is recessed in here. So your grip will go over that. Good job on that one. Uh, the displacement of everything is fantastic. This, there's no air in this thing. This is just a solid, hefty piece of, of motor across here and battery all through here with the air vents on the top. So when this thing's moving, it's, it's taking some hot air out the top. So good design. I haven't had an issue in a little over a week of uh, using this every day. Now you're only going to get 32 pounds, I think it is. Yeah, 32 pounds 
a force that you can put on this. But let's fire this up. Long press, long press, and then that's what you're greeted with. And then you can cycle through. It's very legible what, what you're dealing with. And then you're left with the LED light for your power status. And then here is the audible low setting. So very quiet for a massage gun. Pretty quiet with a 2,500 milliamp hour battery inside. I think there's two batteries, two separate batteries side by side in here. Uh, 10 minutes auto shut off uh, on this thing. Uh, you can get to your legs, arms, a little bit across the top of your shoulders and things. Uh, the only downside to this guy is if you have a whole one, like a, a full size one we'll say, uh, like this one, which is a smaller one, uh, you can grab this down here and come come out and come straight out across the back and go up and down and get what you need to that way. This is kind of not too doable on some areas. I mean, you're going to miss out this much around your back of what you can normally get to. You'll be reduced by probably this much of reach. Uh, but if you got somebody that's going to do it for you, sure. The uh, depth that this thing's going to go in and out is seven millimeters. Um, this one over here is like 16 millimeters. So this is about half the big boys. Um, so expect that. Is that a big deal? Well, how I notice and how I do things is if I can feel it through the other side. So if I like, see this is going now. So that this gives you an idea of the stroke. There's the stroke there. You can see that really good. It's there and you do feel it, but when it hits a bone, it's not pop, 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 pop. So you're not dealing with as ag aggressive, but 32 pounds, like it's true. That's about as much as I want to push in. So you can really get in there. I was amazed by that. You can really get in there and do some work on your legs and stuff. But as you put it on your leg, which I have now, you don't ride off the opposite side of the leg. You don't feel it coming through like you do the big full-size boys. The big full-size boys, you put that on there and it's jackhammering away. You can feel it through the leg out the other side. This, you kind of feel it showering down the sides of your leg, but not out the direct back side of your muscle group or something. So for travel though, like if you've got uh, something that you just want to work out at the desk, at your office, or something like in your traveling and you just got a sore knees or legs or whatever and you're really working it out this will do it in my opinion because i've worked my legs out with this because i have some bad legs you know around my knees and stuff area i've got a good full story on how this stopped these massage guns have cured my uh back spasms lower back spasms and knee problems that i had it was just they've just been life changers for, for me personally so I recommend get one and for the price of this though what you're going to get is compact and a great selection of what is this two four five different attachments uh usb type c cable is in here as well to charge with but the ability to do that in a small compact case it's really not very heard of right now and i think they did the, the right smart thing and to make and to pursue this product over a uh, full-size gun world where it's just really crowded right now and this is not crowded i think a lot of people are looking for this and this is what i would carry for, with me on vacations and stuff i wouldn't carry the big full size with me this is for at home when i got a serious issue going on and this is just maintaining and maintenance and stuff yeah you're missing out on half the stroke length but you got your power there i think this is 60 pounds where this is 32 so it's kind of half across the board but i didn't miss it like i didn't bear down that hard i didn't have that deep of an issue going on that i needed the full 60 pounds uh 16 millimeters of uh stroke and stuff like that so i'm content with this here's uh some other attachment you can see this is kind of soft and airy this is a little more gentle on you which i don't know Maybe you have a grandparent. This would probably be the one that uh, 
that uh, would work with a grandparent. And then you've got the little uh, torpedo looking one. If I can get it out, boom, and it's got a little crevice there and, and uh, openness right in there, so that's nice. Uh, and then we got the little pan head, which is pretty good. Um, I like these, I use this one all the time as well. So these pan heads are fantastic. And then you get the kind of the spine one that goes, but you can use this around the knees areas and stuff too. So just be as creative as you want to while being as safe as humanly possible with these things. This one's just the typical one that you normally see all the time. And we'll put the pan head one on right now. Do, 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 do. But there, there you can see the stroke, you know, right there. Not much, but this is a little beast. Now, don't let the negatives fool you. What are you expecting? Honestly, what are you... See, that feels just fine for, for maintenance. Like, if I got an issue, just a little soreness, nothing crazy, this works. But if you've got, like, an injury, that's where you're going to... I think you're going to benefit more from the big guy. Or if you're really doing, you know, super heavy weight lifting and you've got some issues that you know are triggered, then you're gonna benefit more from the deeper punch of the big guy, of course. I'm not saying anything but that. And, but this is such a good deal. I mean, for the price, the size, you're paying a little bit of a premium for the size uh, over performance. But, I mean, what are you expecting? I will be honest and say that this one's probably gonna get more use uh, than the other guys, just because it's, realistic it's accessible i can throw this in a bag or something easier than the other things it takes up way less room so when i go on vacations trips i always carry these with me for one my family knows that because uh lugging uh, enough stuff for the family out to the beach every day uh usually at night i'm setting up and using uh, a gun on my legs and this is probably the one i'm gonna this is the one i'm gonna carry with me because it's just so small and uh accessible you know what i mean if you've already got a big gun but it's just not practical for you to carry around and just do some general maintenance with the q2 mini uh, by bob and brad i think is the way to go i really do think you should check this out it's stout it's strong it's solid you feel like you have your money's worth with this device it doesn't feel there's nothing clanking around or nothing that feels sketchy about it it's a good product so make sure to go check out the link down in the youtube description for the best possible price for this thing and make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that down so you get notified of the next product that we got coming so we'll see you